I'm Daniel Goodwin. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Money Minute. Today I want to talk about MLPs, which are Master Limited Partnerships. I was at the car wash with my wife of all places and a gentleman came up and he said, Hey Dan, what do you think about MLPs? And I said, well, I think about MLPs like I think about any other investment. They have their pros and their cons. So let me just kind of give you a couple of ideas of what some of those pros and cons might be. Uh, first of all, there are tax benefits with a MLP and those tax benefits are generally better in a non-qualified account than they would be say a qualified account. The other is their liquidity. They can trade like a stock. So there are a couple of pros with that. Here's the problem I have with the cons. There's no real meaningful way to measure the expected rate of return. There's just not enough historical data, problem number one. Uh, number two, you really allocate that money into one company when you buy an MLP. So there's an absence of diversification that you might have in another investment vehicle. MLPs have regulatory risk. They have interest rate risk. They have liability risk. So the biggest risk, though, is kind of putting your money into what you might call a, a hot asset category. They've had good performance in the last several years, so they're attracting a lot of attention. What happens is when something has a little bit of a run, money likes to flow in, and oftentimes that's when the investment takes a tumble. Here's the advice and the takeaway. Build a globally diversified, risk-appropriate portfolio. Own equities, uh, rebalance, and diversify. Forget about stock picking. Forget about market timing. Forget about track record investing, and you can be a successful investor. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Money Minute.